Paige. Sarah. Anyone? Hello? Fancy seeing you here. I swear I'm not stalking you. Paige called me and asked me if I would come back over. Yeah, she left me a message. Saying she wanted to talk about what happened. Lo and behold, she's not here. Right. She did uh, leave this note. Sorry I had to leave. I forgot I promised my friend Amy I'd do her toenails. She doesn't give up, does she? She's worse than my mother. Look, as long as we're both here, why don't we go find a neutral space where we can just talk? That would feel false. Kevin, it's been three weeks. And what, you feel there's some statute of limitations on cheating? No. But I think you're making this all about you instead of about us. Excuse me? Kevin, I did a terrible thing. Yeah. So terrible that I've let you define the debate. <laughs> but sometimes it feels like my life is all about you. It's like you consume all the oxygen in the room. That night, my restaurant was opening. And instead of it being about me, it became all about you, about why you weren't there, about you missing Robert. And I was so exhausted from trying to solve your problems. And somebody came up to me and offered to make it all about me. So that's what our relationship was about, solving my problems. You're saying it happened because you were so ignored, you had to find solace somewhere else? No. I'm saying my life with you is beautiful, and I cherish it. But it's not without its problems. And that night, I let the problems get the better of me, and I failed. Kevin, I am here fighting for us. Can't you see that? Yes, I can. But I'm scared to let you back in. <laughs>